Hi everyone, it is now time for game number 35 of my run of Jeopardy for the PS2, in which I currently have a 34 game winning total of $929,800. Will I add on to that? Let's find out. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! And unlike before, when I would have Skype guests with me... Thanks, Johnny. Especially after my out-of-school special, which is now officially complete. Another challenging game of Jeopardy! Let's do it, Alex. I'm ready to play. And I'm anxious to add on to my 929,800. So, here they are. Okay. Shell games. Middle names. Middle names. Tool time. Okay. Running on MT. Notice the quotation marks. Castle. Okay. And last of all, world history. World history. <coughs> cool. Let's get things underway, player one. Middle names for 200. Leroy was the middle name of this cartoonist, believe it or not. Who is... Uh, Samuel Jackson? Oh boy. Well, I guess not. I don't know. No, nope, that's not right. Sorry. Cartoonist? Here's what we were looking Robert for. Robert Ripley. Oh! Should have known that. Middle name's 400. It's the middle and more familiar name of playwright Marvin Simon. I don't even know who he is. What is Neil? Exactly. Oh, Neil. Neil, Play oh yeah, that's right. Middle names for 600? Yo, this Rocky star's middle name is either Enzio or Gardenzio, depending on whom you ask. Who is Sylvester Stallone? Oh. Exactly. Okay, player three. Shell games for 200. A giant clam, giant crab, or giant cockroach. It's the one with the largest shell. What is giant... Clam. Right. Player one. Uh, Player middle three. name's 800. It was FDR's middle name. What is Delano? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Precisely. Think again. Middle name's 1000. It was the middle name of author Ralph Ellison and essayist Ralph Emerson, for whom he was named. What is Waldo? Precisely. Pick again. Shell games four. Of chestnuts, peanuts, or walnuts, the one whose shell is actually a pie. Well, this is process of elimination, but I'm going to say peanuts. Precisely. Uh huh. Pick again. Shell games six. Of an oyster, a cockle, or a snail, the one that sports a univalve shell. Well, let's see, uh... I'm gonna try an oyster first. No, and No! What is a snail? 
That was my next guess. I don't know why I didn't go with that. Your choice, player two. World history for 200. When Ferdinand the Seventh oh. died in 1833, his three-year-old daughter Isabella the Second ascended this country's throne. What Spain? Right, you are. <coughs> Player one, it's your turn. Uh, Shell Games eight. Of ladybugs, houseflies, or yellow jackets, they're the ones with a shell covering their wings. What are yellow jackets? No, and I am. No! I'm dropping down like a lead weight. Take a look. Here, ladybugs. So against a thousand. Of cytology, conchology, or cacology, it's the study of shells. What is conchology? Right. There we go. Tool time, 200. When it falls, you're fired. What is an axe? What is an axe? Precisely. Tool time four. It's the musical tool heard here. See? Here's the clue. What's a saw? Oh, there we go. Right. Pick again. Uh, tool six. A sharp twist of your muscle that might make a monkey out of you is this tool. What's a wrench? Right. Pick again. Tool time eight. Things on the up and up are on this tool. Honest. What is a hoist? I'm sorry. Not that. a hoist. Oh, what we were looking for. The level. The I just thought of that. Tool time a thousand. To go with something full of force is to go at it with this tool and tongs. Here's what we were looking for. A hammer and tongs. Um, running on MTs, 200. He was always a team player. Uh, who is Mr. T? That's it exactly. Mm-hmm. MT4. This woman seen here said her objective was to destroy socialism. Take a look at your monitor. All attempts to destroy democracy by terrorism Is that it? Any? No. What are you looking for? Margaret Thatcher. Okay. Uh, MT6. In 1989, he was the WBC's, WBA's, and IBF's heavyweight boxing champ. Who is Mike Tyson? Correct. Pick again. MT8. Answer. All right, daily double. Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, I'm not going to go too big on this. So I'm just going to go for 1,000. Here's the clue. He's the author who had Tom Sawyer cruise on the Mississippi. Oh, I could have gone all in. Who is Mark Twain? You bet. Empty 1,000. This 1995 money film starred Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. 
Oh. What is money train? Yes. Oh, I was going to try ring in with starting with the word money, but unfortunately I didn't get a Castle chance. For 200. Do this to the Blarney Stone at Blarney Castle and you'll receive a lovely parting gift. The gift of gas. What is kiss it? That's right. Uh, cat. Over to you, player one. Castle's four. The California castle built by this publisher named William sits on the enchanted hill. Here's what we were looking William for. William Randolph Hearst. Castle six. This English royal castle, badly damaged by fire in November 1992, reopened to the public in December 1997. Okay, here's the clue. What is Windsor Castle? Correct. A Windsor Castle. Your choice, player two. Oh. World history for 400. That's better. In 1191, no, it this lion-hearted king of England captured Cyprus and Acre during the crusade. Who is Richard the Lionhearted? Right you are. Yes. Over to you, player. Castles 8. You can see the royal crown of Scotland in a castle in this Scottish city. But you can't try it on. Uh can't try it on. What is Inverness? No. Um What is Glasgow? No. No. What is Edinburgh? That's called oh, Edinburgh. If you would, player three. World history for 600. This dictator's last battle was his defeat of Pompey's sons at Munda in 45 BC. No idea. Who was Julius Caesar? Oh. Very good. You pick again. World history for 800. In 1584, William I of Orange was assassinated in this Dutch city, known for its blue and white pottery. What is Delft? Right. Oh, Delft. Player two, you choose. World history for a thousand. This battleship, on which the World War II Japanese surrender terms were signed, saw combat during the Gulf War. What is the Missouri? Right you are. Oh, the Missouri. The final answer on this Last one is... The Castelo de São Jorge is thought of as the cradle of this Portuguese capital. What's Lisbon? You bet. Uh-huh. Okay, that's all for the Jeopardy round. Now we'll take a look at the scores. Okay, that'll do. You're number one, player one. Congratulations. 5,800 for me, 2,600 for player two, 3,000 for player three. Now it's time for the Double Jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. Okay. Let's get to the categories in Double Jeopardy. They are. Ooh. Cartoons. One of my personal favorites. 
animals. The buck stops here. Buck in quotation marks, you know what that means. People in history. Really big mountains. And our final category. The last one. Sunny. Sun in quotation marks. Player two, if you would start us off, please. And player two will make her selection when we return.